what's going on TSH moment man how you guys doing today man before we get started in today's video make sure to subscribe like and comment you know what I'm saying comment down under my videos to let me know if I'm doing good if I'm doing bad just let me know down below so for today's video is gonna be a light vlog today someone's gonna interview me about the um, rap, rap culture yeah it's gonna be an interesting video I'm gonna be shooting a little one two clips of that starts at 2 p.m. and I might be late gee so yeah man stay tuned for that yo but um yeah I'm gonna turn on this camera when I'm in the people's place I'm getting recorded I'll introduce you to the man that's gonna be interviewing me so yeah man stay tuned for that so yeah I'll um, make sure to like comment subscribe hit that subscribe button Alrighty, so you can tell me when you're ready to start. Alright, I'm ready. Oh shit, you're serious, man. Holy yeah, shit. man. Jesus Christ. You don't mind if I put you on camera? I don't mind. I All don't right. mind. I'm scared people. You can put me like half of my face. <laughs> that's the man that's going to be interviewing me today. You have like us. Let's put the camera here. Alright. Oh, you can't really see me. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start the. Uh, Interview process. Yeah. Y'all ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm cool, ready. Man. Cool, cool. Okay. First question. Um, so like, tell me, when did you start listening to hip hop music? Um, I started listening to hip hop when when I was young. Like, I'll say when I was like five years old, because right. my mom, not even my mom, my grandma, will always like clean, and she always put some Caribbean music while she's cleaning. You know those Jamaican mm -hmm, people too. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. Sunday morning, cleaning, mm -hmm. cleaning, all them stuff. So yeah, mm -hmm. been listening to music when I was super young, like Bob Marley, Vibes, Cartel, mm -hmm. all those stuff when I was young. But then mm -hmm. when I started growing up, got introduced to the actual hip hop like Nas and Lil Wayne, mm -hmm. Kanye, Jay Z, all those um, legend artists, and that's when I just came up to hip hop. Mm -hmm. So yeah. All right. Okay. So you mentioned about your grandma and and growing up um, with her playing some you know reggae. Were there any other um, influences? Like, did any of your other parents, for instance, any like maybe your dad, your uh, whatever, anybody that's in any other family influence influence you listen to hip hop music? Uh, my uncle, my uncle was really into hip hop mm -hmm. because he's a DJ. Like he's now a DJ, mm -hmm. so like he's always playing music, always getting gigs mm -hmm. to play music for like birthdays, weddings. Mm -hmm. All those type of stuff, mm -hmm. big big events. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I nice. he influenced me a lot. Okay, cool. Okay, so what type of hip hop is your like? What what type of hip hop music do you like? Rap, rap. Yeah. So if you were to break that down, would you say uh, would, would that be trap music or like what what? When uh, you say rap, rap is kind of like a broad thing, right? What yeah. specifically? What kind of rap do you like? I say trap, <laughs> but at the same time, like lyrical as well. Lyrical. Yeah. When I mean lyrical, I mean like um, Chance the Rapper, yeah. um, YBN Crody, mm -hmm. J. Cole, okay. you know, those type of lyrical yeah. um, rappers. Li yeah. Especially Lil TJ, he's lyrical as well. Mm -hmm. I like like type of rap music that's like relatable. That's mm -hmm. when I, I like listening to relatable music. It's not like that door. <laughs> All right, okay, so let's back, back to the. To the so, okay, so you mentioned a lot of artists there. That's really good. Um, is there like, is there like what, is there like one uh, rap song that stands out to you? Like what, like, why do you think you like that type of rap music? Like, why do you like, 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 uh, like trap or like, is it just a beat? Is it just like, you talk about lyric, but what about the beat? The beat? Yeah. Yeah, I like the beat. The mm -hmm. beat, uh, let's see. Uh, it's a different type, like you know, piano mm -hmm. with the raw beat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like a combination of those. Like mm -hmm. I like a little R and B mm -hmm. with a little called trap with it. Mm -hmm. I like that type of beat. Yeah. What about conscious rap? You like conscious rap? I mean, trance rap is a little bit like that. Like common, those guys they mm -hmm. like conscious. You know, do you like that kind of? Yeah. Okay, so you're like you're like a deeper kind of guy. You're yes. not just like you know. I see what you mean. Okay, all right. Um, so again, you mentioned so many artists. So who would be your favorite artist? If you can pick one, who would be your favorite artist? Honestly, I'll say Lil TJ. Lil TJ? Yes. 
these are why I say Lil TJ is because the music that he's been producing, like, so far has been so relatable. Like, his recent album, um, one track that I really love about him, really, no, one track that I like that he made was um, The Goat. Basically, him talking about, like, I'm the GOAT, I'm the greatest, I did this in a young age, mm -hmm. all by himself, mm -hmm. came from the trenches, and now he's up there, if he only, he only been in the rap game for two years, mm -hmm. and he's already having so much fame by himself, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and he came through a lot, mm -hmm. like, a lot, like, he's from New York, the Bronx, you know, mm -hmm. that's dangerous, and he came out from there mm -hmm. in two years, mm -hmm. come on, that's, that's and, and incredible. You think Rap has had, obviously rap had a lot to do with that, right? Yeah. Um, so you, again, you also mentioned about lyrical stuff, right? So can you think of an artist, or maybe little TJ? Can you think of an artist who um, a song or a lyric from a song that really means a lot to you, that really connects with you? Mm. Since you're a conscious guy. Wow, which one that would be? Oh, I'll say the one that really spoke out to me was um, YBN Cody. Mm -hmm. Um, the track is named. Um, broke. It starts with I was broke as fuck, down up on my ass, had the lowest luck. Mm. That right there, luck. yeah. You see what I'm saying? That right there got to me. Like I'm, I'm like that too. I'm from the trenches. I had yeah. the lowest luck. Like you know, yeah. That right there just spoke to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That. Whoa. So that. So the whole, just that one lyric was the lowest luck. Exactly. That like struck your heart, yes. right? And I then feel it. You feel it. I feel and it. What, what does that What does that feeling feel like though? Feels like yo, like psh, I had the lowest look. I like I'm like I had the lowest look too. Like I'm from the trenches. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't really have anything like mm -hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And how I know YBN's um past. He doesn't eat. He he used to have nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Eating ramen noodles every single day. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like yeah. yeah. Like I felt that. I really felt that. And then sure. when you felt that, right? Did did that, did that feeling make you feel give you some hope or something? Or did you I say, really he, think he, it gave me he hope. gets me. Like this is I can relate. You talk about relatable. Mm -hmm. I, feel like I can relate to this guy. Of course. Yes. That, I feel like that gave me hope. I feel like yo, if he can do it, I think mm. I can do it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I can make it out the trenches. I feel like I can. I can um, make. Me, my mom, my sisters out of uh, trenches like that. Mm -hmm. I that track made me have hope for sure, for sure. Nice, nice. Okay, Ooh, it's a good story. I like that. Kind of like step back a little bit from all those artists that you 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 talked about in the songs. If you were to like, if you were to like sum it up to say, what does hip hop or rap music? What does it do for you? What does if if someone asks you, what does rap music do for you? What would be the answer? What does it do for you? What do for me? What do you mean? I don't know, joy, I guess? You know, it makes me happy every day, you know? It makes me like, when I'm angry, I can just, you know, rely on rap, you mm -hmm. know, just to like get my, you know, anxiety, like anxiety go away, mm -hmm. just get my hopes up, you know, mm -hmm. get happy again. Mm -hmm. I always like rely. So I'll say it brings reliability. Mm -hmm. That's what I'll say, yeah. Which, which gives you a little bit of joy. Exactly. So, because you talk about being in the trenches mm -hmm. and. Well, it's a lot. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. So again, this is the same sort of typical, uh, same sort of question here. I want you to think about when you're feeling down, right? You know, maybe something happened. You're feeling really, really down, um, and choose to listen to rap music. How does that music make you feel? You kind of just answered it in the last question, but like, think about time. Think about the last time you really like. You just feeling like shit, right? But you choose to listen to rap music for whatever reason. Why? Because I feel like rap music speaks to me. I feel like when I'm listening to a certain song, it really like connects me. It really like, like it's like having someone beside me really like talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm listening to music, I'm like my head is like going back to all the good times I had. So like stop worrying about what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like worry about the moment, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like stick, to, like stay in the moment, fam. Mm -hmm. Don't just go to the bag. Like forget all about mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like my conscious is like beside me, talking mm -hmm. to me while I'm listening to the music. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's, that's good, man. Cool. Thank, that's I like that answer. It, it's like I like me say it's, it's like like somebody having somebody beside you. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, okay, so we're getting there, we're almost there. So I want you to think about a song that kept you going. Again, you mentioned one before. But think about a song that kept you going, 
when everything was not going right in your life, like just think about one song that has kept you. One song that kept me going. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's a lot. Um, I will say one song that really kept me going would be Lil TJ 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause that just talks about 2020. It's my year. Mm -hmm. Can't take this year from from me. I'ma keep going. All that talking, talking, talking shit's not gonna get to my head. I'ma keep going, mm -hmm. keep striving, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So yeah, I'll say 2020. Okay. Track 2020. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now, um, do you think rap encourages you to be proud of your race and your ethnicity? Like, do you think listen to rap music, like, it makes you feel proud to be a black man? Yes, most definitely. How? How, how does it do that? Because, like, a lot of, like, okay, there's certain black people that make music, but that don't really care about music. That really piss me off. So that's why I have a few artists that I like. Mm -hmm. So those few artists that I like, yes, I'm proud to be black. But sometimes, like for example, Blueface, that guy, that guy pisses me off. Why does he, he piss you off? Because he doesn't care about music. He just cares about the money, which pisses mm -hmm. me off. Yeah, I. Mm -hmm. There's artists out there that don't give a damn about the money, mm -hmm. that really loves music like mm -hmm. j cole he really loves the mm -hmm. culture of music you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying and i like people like that so those people that really is like into the music mm -hmm. just for the money for the fame all that stuff mm -hmm. that You're authentic uh, yeah like i just makes me like yo why are you disrespecting our our mm -hmm. black you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like we started music for a reason mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying we just started music to build the whole society a whole community a whole joy a mm -hmm. whole like spiritual type thing mm -hmm. get connected mm -hmm. and they're going off to exactly another way. going off to another way like I don't, pre I don't appreciate that at all so yeah that's so I is, said it. is there another artist you can think of that that is falls into that category of not not being you know legit Lil Pump that mm -hmm. guy yeah see he's ridiculous Lil Pump yeah okay. all right all right okay so now I want you to think about when you hear the word heal right or healing heal you know you need to heal or whatever what, what comes to mind when you hear somebody say you know I'm, I need to heal or I'm, I'm healing or something like, what comes to mind I'll say you need to focus on yourself mm -hmm. you know like try to figure out what you're really going through you know like really sit down and like really reminisce reminisce to yourself on like you know what's really wrong with me or you know what that's really in my mind that I really need to talk about, you mm -hmm. know, because there's days when, you know, I am healing, and mm -hmm. I have to just sit down and really, like, think about, like, what's really wrong with me, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. what's really going in my head that I don't, like, that I need to talk it out, because I realize when you keep stuff in, it's not good. It's not healthy at all. So I'm, I'm trying, like, right now to, like, talk out my feelings mm -hmm. instead of, keep it in Sorry. because I'm gonna beat myself up and I'm just gonna I don't know break mm -hmm. something that which I don't want to do you know what I'm saying so yeah, yeah when I when I hear healing it's just like really um focusing on yourself really um going back on what you're doing going back on like what's really on your head what you need to talk about to someone yeah like, like, that. like a personal struggle you went through and do you think your age or your race had something to do with it? So for instance, if you're going to something at school or with a girlfriend or a, like a close friend, do you think your age or your race or your cultural identity played into that, that whatever that problem was? Can you can think of something? Um, I'll say in my high school, mm -hmm. when I was in, i say, grade 11, a lot of, because I went to a high school where there's a lot of hood guys, you know, I went to a <laughs> bad school, whatever, I had to survive. It was like mm -hmm. survival mm -hmm. in that high school. And I had to deal with so much gang violence mm -hmm. and all that stuff. A lot of stuff that I was not into, but for some reason I got dragged into it, which was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So I really had to survive. Mm -hmm. So I really like say like my like my age when I was in high yeah, school this year. Exactly. Yeah. How did you survive? What did you do? <sighs> I had friends. Mm. I had friends. Mm. I had friends that had my back. I had friends that support me. Mm -hmm. And also I had basketball. Ah. Basketball was always there for me. Mm -hmm. I was on the team. Mm -hmm. Basketball got me out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Basketball even got me to school on time. Really? So, yeah. Wow. I 
basketball. So basketball off the heels. Yes, yes. Basketball <laughs> heels too, sure, nice. Sure. I like that. Okay. Uh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Um, so okay, now this is like a like a three part or four, actually a four part question. But you you kinda answered it already. Um, I want you to think about a song, right? Or an artist that inspires you, that makes you want to move, that educates you, and heals you. So, so let's start with the first one, inspires you. You can think of an artist or a song that, that inspires you. Meek Mill. Meek Mill. Okay. How does he, like, how, why, how? Because of the movement he's doing right now. The okay. whole Dream Chaser, the whole, um, yo, if I can do it, y'all can do it too, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the whole, like, dynasty that he's building. Mm -hmm. And just like it's just it's just the way how he moves. It's like he moves like a boss. He like <laughs> it's like I want to be him. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, okay. He moves like a boss. Yeah, like, yeah. Just does it. Yeah. I don't know. It's just me. <laughs> it's just me. No, like cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. What about moving? That makes you want to get up and just you know move or, like dance or whatever. Just move. You know. Or it just make you want to just like it just makes you, it inspires you to move. You know. Like which track makes me want to? Yeah. Move? Yeah. Um. I'll say. I'll say um Bop by uh the the baby Bop. Okay. That, that makes me want to move on. Okay. Ha, I needed some shit with some Bop. Like he's he goes nice. He goes okay. Hard. And now here's educate. What what so, what what song or artist educates you, teaches you something? Meek Mill, Udo, what is it? Noodles and babies. That track educates me because it talks about um really talks about um him in the trenches how. He had to get his mom out. How, if you can do it, if I can do it, you can do it too. Don't, and basically don't rely on no one. You can mm. only rely on yourself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because there's so much bad mind people out there mm. that would try to manipulate you and do the most. Mm. And only you, no one else can help you. Only you can do it. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got your mom, you got your dad, but like, end of the day, only you can do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. Okay. And finally, what song heals you? Like you meant, you meant, you had a good description of healing. So you can think of a song or an artist that just, you know, it's like, yeah, you know what? This is helping me get you this, this time. Or it could be a good time too. It's not about bad, but like, mm -hmm. it just helps you. It just, it just, it's like it's repairing you. I'll say, broke, broke as fuck. <laughs> by, by being Cody for sure. That heals me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like, how? And like, how does it heal you? Like, in what way? If you were to like, it's just like. Um, the stuff that he says, mm -hmm. and it's just the beat that goes with it, mm -hmm. and it's just like how his voice is and how he talks. Mm -hmm. It's so authentic, you yeah. know. It's just out there. It's just yeah. like yeah, awesome. you know. Yeah. Awesome. So okay, we go a little bit off uh, a little bit uh, different question. Now. What don't you like about hip hop? I don't like about yeah. it. Yeah. <sighs> Blueface. That's it. <laughs> that's that's it. <laughs> Why? Cause it's just like the track that he makes. It's just like. Oh, I don't like it at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's just yeah. It's like track. It's like the track that he makes. It's like for club type tracks. Oh, so it's not authentic. It's not authentic. I'm a spiritual rap type of guy. I yeah. like spiritual music. Yeah. So what Blueface makes, I don't listen it's to that. Trash. Yeah, it's yeah. Trash. That's what I don't like about hip hop. That's the only thing. So, like, so because you mentioned before about like people who are like you know, not really. They're just doing it for the money. They're not, they don't care about about this. Exactly. I know what we what we're struggling for. So that's would you was the first thing said. That's what you hate about hip hop. Mm -hmm. The fact that people like taking it up and using it for something totally different. Are actually meant for. It. Yeah, yeah. I'll okay. say that for sure. Um, and then do you, the last question is: Do you actually think hip hop can heal you? Yeah, most definitely. I feel like hip hop can heal you. It's just it just depends on how your mindset is. Mm -hmm. To be honest, mm -hmm. because everyone's head is different. So like this really depends how your mindset is, mm -hmm. how you really um, take hip hop. Because some people just listen to hip hop just to listen to it. Mm -hmm. You know, so they're not really listening to what the artist is trying to tell mm -hmm. you, the mm -hmm. message behind the music mm -hmm. that really is trying to like tell you. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of music out there that there's a message to it, and you really have to pause that music and go like, mm -hmm. holy shit. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you really gotta listen to it. So like, yeah, I really feel like. Hip hop can really heal you for sure. Awesome. Thank you. That was great. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> <All right. laughs>
That was awesome, man. Thanks yeah. a lot. No problem. That was great. All right, TSH Movement, that's it for today's interview. And that's <laughs> it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, man. I'm out. Bow. I like this, man.